I don't feel right unless the odds against me. Back against the wall of my strength. Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? Hope you're all good. Quick video. Um, <clears throat> when I met someone earlier and um, was talking about, you know, was actually sat on a bench overlooking the sea and uh, was talking about, I said to him, you know, so, so what do you want? You know, what is it you actually want in life? And he told me, you know, told me, you know, exactly what he wanted for him. He painted this amazing picture, you know, um, for him, his family, you know, his, his self, his confidence. Um, you know, how he is as a person. But then he listed a load of things that could potentially get in the way. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not I don't like people. I'm not this sort of person. I don't really go out and socialise. I've never had this. I'm, I've got ADHD. I've got... Da, 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 da. And I sort of looked out and I just, and I just thought, you see, all of those reasons that you've just listed, the reason why you even think that they are obstacles is because you, all you've been around for, you, for your entire life, the last 20, 30 years, are average people. And I don't mean this in a, in a negative uh, way. I mean, in a successful people don't have any excuses. Successful people see everything that you've just listed as a reason to become successful. I shared how, you know, when I used to work my job, um, you know, we had this thing called the morning shift and the morning shift would start at literally 6 a.m. And um, before I even get into work at 6 a.m., I've been up 3.30, quarter four, and I'll be doing cardio on the, on, on the, on the, on the treadmill. I'll be reading books. I'll be studying um, videos. I'll be creating content. I'll be uh, listening to positive information. I'll be eating healthy breakfast before I've even got to work. Um, <clears throat> and everyone called me crazy. Yeah, I, said, I said to me, you know, everyone, everyone actually called me crazy when I was in, when I was in this transition. Everyone called me crazy, and the thing is, every single person that called me crazy still works in the factory. And I'm and I've been able to move out of the city, down by the seaside, you know, buy a couple Range Rovers where we used to build Range Rovers. I've, I've created an amazing, beautiful life, you know, for, for me, my family. Um, you know, I've got a great physique. And uh, it's it's I'm not it's not it's not look it's it's based on doing things different you know I said to him I said if you if you if you go into work tomorrow and you look around you and every single other person in there that hasn't got the results that you want hasn't got the body you want the the relationships that you want the lifestyle the, the lifestyle that you want the income that they want what did they do before work more than likely they just did exactly what you did which you got up brushed your teeth washed your face and left the house that's how most people live their life you're going to be in the same position 15, 20 years from now, I told him. And you could see the look on his face. The look on his face was like, it's almost like I put him in that state of regret. Not in a negative way, in a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to be your friend and I'm going to let you know that if you don't change, nothing's going to change. If you don't change, nothing's going to change. You're going to have to get used to live in outside of your comfort zone. This morning, I said to him this morning, I'm up half four, I'm reading, I'm journaling, I'm writing out my vision. I'm doing cardio on the Peloton bike. No one's even awake. I'm responding to messages. I'm posting in, 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 the, in the communities that we've got. I'm creating content before you're even awake. And I'm over here, don't have a boss. And I said to him, you know, the key, the main focus I want, that I want, that I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on becoming a successful man. Forget the results. Focus on building a successful man. I said, if you could click your fingers and create the perfect version of you, the superhuman version of you, what would he what, what would he look like? What would he sound like? What would his lifestyle be? And then spend every single day cutting away what isn't that. That's my message for today. You know, he's just text me. I can't make this up. He's just text me. <clears throat> Thank you for your time, mate. Great to meet you. 
If every inspiration was needed, then a chat with you is definitely gets the ball rolling. Hits home the fact, unless, unless I change, nothing will change. And then he said, and for what it's worth, you're very level-headed considering who you are. <laughs> Thanks for being so open about your past. You're, defin you're the definition of hard work and dedication for sure. I just went and met him by the beach by mine. 20 minutes, 30 minutes of, uh, of my time. I said to him, do you know, if you do exactly what I've said during this interaction, in five years time, six years time, you'll be sat at the beach with someone explaining to them how they can change. And that's all that's from you guys. I want you guys to get right. I want you guys to get better. That's the best thing that anyone that anyone can do. The best thing that anyone can do for a leader, for a mentor, for someone they look up to is to actually apply the information and go out there and change another life. All right, guys. Happy Friday. I love you all. They wouldn't let me. Man's gal wanna come undress me. Spring with a rabbit, I might go lefty. I made plus with it, so don't test me. They wouldn't let me.